Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Von Manor. And today we're going to be talking about Algernon Blackwood. Algernon Blackwood, one of the greatest supernatural horror writers of all time. Algernon Blackwood, whose first book appeared in 1906, a collection of short stories. And it was with his short stories that he made his greatest impact on literature. So Algernon Blackwood, a writer who was tremendously influential to other writers, writers as diverse as H.P. Lovecraft and J.R.R. Tolkien and many other writers. A lot of writers read Algernon Blackwood and were influenced by him. He had a really interesting world view. Algernon Blackwood was very interested in the occult and the possible reality of the supernatural. He was very interested in the outdoors. He was an outdoorsman. He loved nature. And a lot of that comes through in his fiction. And uh, he was just really great. His, his stories were both frightening and they left you with a sense of awe. And that was what he was going for in his fiction, for the most part, I think. Although his fiction could be pretty diverse. He wrote everything from short stories to novels uh, to fiction for younger readers. He wrote plays. He wrote a lot, this guy. And he wasn't just a writer. He was also a journalist. He was a broadcaster. He was on radio and television. He did a lot, Algernon Blackwood. And so we're going to be talking about Algernon Blackwood in print. If you're interested in reading Algernon Blackwood, where do you go? What do you, what do you pick up to read? If you're a reader who primarily reads on an e-reader, you're set. Uh, you can get a collection like this from Delphi, which has almost everything he wrote. Most of what he wrote, certainly a lot of the important stuff, it's all available in the public domain. So you can get a collection like this for, what, two or three dollars? And you're gonna get almost everything. And you can read all that stuff. It's, it's one of the great things about e-readers. You can get this stuff easily and read all that stuff. But if you're interested in reading Algernon Blackwood in print, in physical form, I think it's a little deficient right now. I think we need more than what we've got. But let's talk about what we do have if you're interested in reading Algernon Blackwood. And the first thing is The Old Standby. This is a book that's been available for decades. And this is the best ghost stories of Algernon Blackwood, selected and with an introduction by E.F. Bleeler. It also has a foreword by Algernon Blackwood himself. Uh, from a previous edition of his stories, which is pretty good. So this is the old Dover edition, which has been around forever. They've never changed the cover, so it's got its old, vintage strange cover on it. But Dover has kept this edition in print for years and years, and it's a really good volume. You've got Algernon Blackwood himself there. There's the guy himself. And this has 12 short stories, I believe, in it. Yeah, and including some of his best stories, like The Willows and The Wendigo. This is a great collection. It, it could be the best collection out there right now, and it's, it's certainly the one people have read the most over the years, I think, just because it's been available. And... Like I said, it's still available. So if you're interested in reading Algernon Blackwood, this is a great place to start. Another good book is one of my favorites, which is from Penguin. Uh, this is Algernon Blackwood, Ancient Sorceries and Other Weird Stories. This is the older Penguin 20th Century Classic Editions, which I think has a much better cover than the newer edition does. This is a great book. Doesn't have as many stories as the best ghost stories, but it's a really good selection by S.T. Joshi. Now, it's going to have a lot of the same stories that the other one does, and that is an issue uh, that you're going to come across 
if you're interested in reading Algernon Blackwood. A lot of these collections are going to have the same main stories in them. His most influential story is The Willows, which was called one of the greatest supernatural or weird stories ever by H.P. Lovecraft, and I think that is probably true. It is certainly one of the greatest supernatural horror stories ever written, and so it's going to be in every collection, pretty much, that you're going to find of Algernon Blackwood. Uh, same goes for The Wendigo, another one of his very influential stories. So a lot of the same stories are going to pop up in different anthologies or collections. And that's the same case here. But this does have some different stories uh, than the ghost stories of Algernon, best ghost stories of Algernon Blackwood, which makes it worthwhile. It's an excellent volume. Great introduction by S.T. Joshi, the editor S.T. Joshi. And this one is probably one of the easiest to find, maybe. They're both pretty easy to get if you want to order them. So this is another excellent one that's readily available. The problem, of course, in both of these two volumes is that it's a very limited selection of stories. What we really need is a larger, more comprehensive volume, uh, maybe a whole set of books that'll give you a more well-rounded idea of all of the different things that Blackwood wrote. We need that in print. One of the cool things that's out there right now is this book, also from Dover, also edited by S.T. Joshi, who did the Penguin volume. And this is the complete John Silence stories. John Silence was a supernatural investigator. And uh, this collection by Algernon Blackwood kind of made, his, made him famous. This was tremendously popular when it first came out. This is a newer edition, which has all the original stories from the first edition, plus one extra story that was written later. So this is all the John Silence stories. And they're excellent stories. This is a good collection. And it's a really interesting collection to have. So I'm very glad that Dover does it. I think they're the only ones that do do a John Silence collection. So this is pretty cool. If you if you read those other books and you're still interested in reading more, you're definitely going to want to pick this up. There are some small press books out there. There's some indie publications. But as far as the major presses, that's pretty much it. Oxford doesn't have an edition of Algernon Blackwood, which is unfortunate. It, it, it boggles the mind. They, they ought to have one, and why don't they? There have been some other major publications. This, I think, this is the Centipede Press Library of Weird Fiction Edition of Algernon Blackwood, which is over 800 pages long and is incredibly hard to find, so you're not going to find this probably. But I, I'm showing it because this is the kind of thing that we need, I think, in a cheaper edition. It's a big, large, comprehensive volume. This edition is really cool. Uh, that has a lot of stories in it. And this is, again, edited by S.T. Joshi, but with a lot more stories. And so you get a, a much better idea of the full range of what he wrote just from reading this. Unfortunately, like I said, this is tremendously hard to get. I've seen this edition sold for over $1,000. More often, if you do see it, you'll see it around maybe $800, which is way too much to pay for a book. Don't pay that much for a book where all the stories are in the public domain. But this is collectible because it is a very nice hardcover of Algernon Blackwood, which is impossible to find. It's, it's sent to be press, which makes it collectible in itself. So there's a lot of reasons why this is as expensive as it is. But as a book, it's excellent. And we need a cheaper version of this, basically something this size, something this comprehensive. Oxford should do it. Somebody should do it. But nobody does. 
So I treasure this and I hold on to this. Uh, there's also another cool book that's out there right now that's much shorter but very cool. This is from Beehive Books, which is an illustrated version of The Willows and some other stories. So this is actually a pretty beautifully done book. It has an introduction by Ramsey Campbell, which is awesome in itself. But uh, it's a beautiful illustrated edition of the willows, as well as some other stories. It's really cool. Um, yeah, it's awesome. This is readily available from Beehive Books. It's in print. <laughs> Got this same great picture of Algernon Blackwood. But this also has a lot of other stories. The Man Who Found Out is in this, An Egyptian Hornet, uh, Smith, an episode in a lodging house, accessory before the fact. So this actually has some stories in it that you will not find in some of those other volumes that I showed you. So a lot of Algernon Blackwood's stories are kind of scattered here or, or there. He's in a lot of anthologies. Usually, unfortunately, they're going to be the same stories in all the different anthologies. You're gonna see uh, the Willows and the Wendigo everywhere. Uh, but a lot of his other great stories will not be anthologized. So definitely all of the books that I've shown you, particularly the first couple, those are a great place to start with Algernon Blackwood. And like I said, I believe we really need something more comprehensive in print. But if you want to read everything or close to everything, you're going to have to get an e-reader right now. Because that's that's where everything Algernon Blackwood exists at the moment. Is if you're interested in his complete works, if you really if you really want to read more Algernon Blackwood, if you're really interested in the writer, that's where you're gonna to have to go at the moment. Which is something that should be fixed, in my opinion. Anyway, I've talked long enough. I will shut up now. Thank you for joining me here at Stately Vaughn Manor, and I We'll see you next time.